Hello fashion sewers, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use shearing elastic. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here is a sample of shearing and the technique of shearing is all about gathering of fabric. Now if I just pull this, so there on top you've got your fashion um, thread that you've used to suit your fabric and on the reverse side you have the elastic and the elastics do come in different colours so remember it's a method of gathering and it's, all, it's mainly used as a decorative feature on any part of the garment here we have uh, the shearing elastic and as you can see it just looks like any regular thread other than the fact that it looks thicker and it's elasticated now I've got my bobbin here and you have to actually hand wind it onto your bobbin and the reason being is that your machine really can't cope with the tension that needs to wind your thread on so that's the elastic and you need to pull it to some extent not too tight and wind it round your bobbin and just wind it round until it's until it's um more or less full really that's all you need to do now I've got a plain piece of fabric here which is cut on the bias and shearing's best done on the bias or on the cross grain of your fabric for, to get a really good effect um, you can either do this two ways you can use either use the guide on your foot to do your first sewing line but I'm just going to use a ruler just so that I can make this a little bit clearer Right, remember you've got 1.5 centimetres, um, five, five eighths of an inch seam allowance. So you need to make sure that you start within the seam allowance. Do not start on the edge. So I'd start roughly about there. And you're going to sew, well I'm going to chalk the first line all the way straight down. And it's going to go straight into the seam allowance again. Stops about there. And then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and then show you how to actually stitch I'm now at my sewing machine and it's just a straightforward stitch so I'm going to take a couple of stitch forward and then reverse just to secure that stitch and remember I've started within the seam allowance and I'm going to follow that line straight down just keep going you're just doing a straight stitch and that's in the seam allowance reverse square that stitch What you need to do next for your second row of stitching is to make sure that you're going to be using the width of your feet to line up against your first stitch line. Get that in position, make sure it's lined up. Okay, and as you can see, the side of the foot is going to be using this as a guide for my first row of stitching. In reverse and then just pull your work out gently so you get that straight line sewn. Compass ends, then do the same thing again. Keep going. As you can see starting together so I'm going to complete all this and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end now this is the first sample that I did to show you in order to help you with your first line of stitching and your second line of stitching and all the other stitching thereafter and as you can see it's quite wide and once you've put as many rows of stitching on your work this is what you're going to end, end up with. See how it's just curled on itself? It's coiled. That's what happens. And that's all to do with the fact the, la the elastic is pulling all that work together. There you have the row of stitching. And 
that's what it looks on the front. I can just pull that out. So that's a shearing technique using shearing elastic. Just before I go, I just want to recap um, what we've actually done so far is that in order for you to get that effect on your work, you need to make sure that you hand wind the uh, shearing elastic onto your bobbin and you insert it the exact same way that you would do with any other regular thread that you use. And also, when you actually finish doing your work, it's a good idea that when you actually come to press your work, you just need a steam iron on top of your work, just hovering over it. Don't put it down onto your work, just help, just help hold it so that it's actually hovering over it. And also one other problem that I found, that if you are using a front loading machine, so you actually have a bobbin case, it's a lot easier to get the elastic inserted and coming up through um, the plate. If you are using a top loading machine, you may find it a little bit more difficult. Now I've tried both and the front loading one is brilliant, it's easy to do. The top loading one is a little bit more trickier and I found that if you get a pin and try and help the thread to slot into the areas in which it needs to go into, it will help but it's a little bit more slower and just be aware of that. Any questions that you have, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.